What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter data and then copy and paste that data to multiple sheets. So let's get right into it. I've got um, a bunch of countries here and the regions and what I want to do is auto filter by region and then create new tabs based on the name of the region and then each tab with that region will have data pertaining to that region and that region only. So let me start off with a drop down in, in cell F2 and I'll create that quickly. I'll just copy column B and I'll paste it here on sheet two and then I'll go ahead and trim to get rid of any extra spaces there might be. And then I'll take that copy, paste values, then I'll delete um, I also delete this don't need that and then I'll go ahead and go to data and then remove duplicates so now I have my list and then I can go to this cell F2 click data validation allow list my source is going to be this Press enter, click OK, and now I have my drop down. Okay, so for the sub, let's call this sub um, copy data uh, to new sheets. All right, and let's start declaring some variables. So we're going to count our columns going to the right, and then we're going to count our rows going down to see how big our range is. So I'll set that up. And then I also want to know what my region is at any given time. So I'm going to have REG short for region, and then that's going to be a string. So let's start off with that and see what we can get. So at this point, REG is going to be equal to sheet one. And I'm referencing the, the name of the sheet here and not this name. So let me change this just so it makes more sense. So I'll rename this. Let's call it um, source data. So now you see the name changes, but the original name stays the same. So as long as I'm using this name here, no matter what you name the tab, it won't affect the macro in a bad way. So now I'm going to reference cell F2. So that's down to over six. So down to over six. And then I want the text from that cell. And with that, I want to create a new tab with the name of the region that's in F2. So in order to do that, we're going to do sheets add. And then I want the sheets to come after the source data tab. Let me go ahead and hide this one. So I want the sheets to come after. In order to do that, I'm going to have to do this. So after, and then equals sheets, and then sheets again. And I want the count of the sheets at any given time. And then I want the sheet to go after that count. So then the name of the sheets are just going to be REG, the region. So let's just run it to see what we got. And there we have it. You see, we've got a new tab based on the name here. So I could do it again. Got a new tab. All right. Only issue, right, is if we decide to run the same t tab again, we're going to get an error. You see that? And what happens is another sheet pops up with no name. In order to, do, to remedy this, we're going to add on error go to and then we have our error handler so we can call it whatever we want I'll just call it oops like you know oops we messed up um, so we'll call it oops and then oops will so what happens is we it'll go to oops if there's an error here and so it'll skip down to here so there could be other code here but it'll skip that and go straight to the, to this location and I'm going to delete 
that sheet that gets created. So let's run it again, see what happens. So we can see that if we run a different country, a uh, different region, we get a, oops, I spelled that wrong. All right, so if we if we run this, say we run it again on Northern Africa, that sh that tab was created. We run it again. It'll ask us if you want to delete it permanently. So then we delete it. So now it's gone, that error sheet. But we don't want to see that. We don't have to do that every time. So what we do is application and turn off the display alerts. So those will be false. And then we'll turn them back on after we're done. So now, whenever we do have that pop, whenever we do have an error, that new tab that gets created will get, dis um, not destroyed, but deleted immediately. So you see, we won't even see it in anymore. Nothing happens, or well, it happens, but it happens so fast you don't see it. Same with this one, no issues there. All right, so we're good on the error. There is one issue though. So because the errors handlers at the bottom of the, of the sub, this will get triggered regardless of if there's an error or not. So even if there's no error, what's gonna happen is this is gonna go ahead and run anyway. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on a region and run it, it immediately gets deleted. So let me comment this out so you can see it. So it's asking me if I want to delete it because no matter, even if the error happens or not, you're still going to have to hit this code. So what we want to do is have like a check. So I'm going to go ahead and there's multiple ways to do this, but um, what comes to mind first is just doing this. I'm going to have a check and I'll immediately set my check equal to zero. So what happens is This will only work if the check is equal to zero. So if there's an error, so at this point in the beginning of the sub, the check is equal to zero. If there's an error, it'll skip down here and then check is still equal to zero. So this will happen. But if there's no error, we hit here and then I'm gonna change check equal to two. No, check equal to one. So now that check's equal to one, if it goes here, it won't trigger this here. So we'll be good on that. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. Have a reason chosen, run it, and you see we're good, no issues. And I can pick another one, no issues. But if I run it again, still no issues. We're good to go. So now, let's get, go ahead and copy the data or regions for each data for each region over. So what we're going to do is underneath the here. We're going to reference our sheet based on the region name, so our region name that we established in the beginning. We're gonna reference that, and we're gonna clear any data that's on it at that given moment. So we'll clear contents. And then I'm gonna activate this first sheet here, source data. So we call it sheet one. And then I do my count column and count row. So that's just going to be worksheet function, count A, range, we're going to start at A1, and then A4, because that's where we actually we start.
So it's going to be XL to the right for the columns. And then count row. It's going to be worksheet function. And so I don't have to type that out again. Let me go ahead and copy and paste it. Instead of XL to the right, it's going to be XO down. So now we're counting over to the right and then down. We're going to use that number to determine what we're going to be copying and pasting over. So now for our actual filtering, we're going to do active sheet and then range and A4 because that's where the filter is going to be starting. And then auto filter. We want fill two because we're going to be filtering by the region. And then criteria. One is just going to be the region, REG. So let's run and see what we got so far. All right. So we've created a tab and we filtered by that region. So now we need to copy and paste stuff over so with sheet one we're going to reference this here so down four and over one and then also cells to the right so the count of the count of the rows sorry that's so we're going to go down first so count of the rows and then the count of the columns And if you know the exact number of rows and columns, you don't need to use this, but this is just in case your range is actually dynamic and you don't know the size. But if you know that it's gonna be 100 rows and then five columns, you can just put 105 there if you want to. So I'm running out of space. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, use an underscore to continue this line. And what I wanna do is uh, special cells, XL, Oops. Cell type visible. So I want to copy the visible cells after I make my um, filter. And I want to copy that. And then with whatever region, the name of the sheet is going to be the region. With that sheet, I'm going to. Copy it over to the first cell, so 1-1, one, one. paste special, XL paste values. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the cut copy paste mode. And then to clean things up, I'll go back to sheet one, show all data. And then same thing on sheet one, I'm going to turn the auto filter off. Sorry, yeah, auto filter mode, yeah. Okay, so let's run it. If I go here, I've got all of my data. If I were to run it again, no issues. All my data is still there, it gets cleared and then copied over again. As for any region. Looks kind of crappy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of formatting. So let's um 
let's activate the region sheet and then I'm going to select the cells and I'm going to make sure they fit so I want to you know do this with everything with all the cells so an auto fit and then you see how like all this is highlighted I'll just go ahead and select this cell here so it doesn't look like it's grayed out or something all right so let's go ahead and delete these and run our macro so look there you have it Copy and paste into multiple tabs with unique data on each tab. Yeah, that's all I had. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.